Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that we have at the jewelry store where I work. And it helps me to prioritize and organize. And in the meantime, we get to look at the goodies. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday and I'd love to see you there again. Down in the description box below, there are eBay links and emails. If there's anything you're interested in, or if you would just like to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message. Anyway, let's get digging. And we are starting with a box. A light blue fuzzy velvet box that says Ashton Drake on it. Hmm. What does that say? The Diamond Beacon of Hope, pendant inspired by the art of Thomas Kincaid. I've had some Thomas Kincaid porcelain things before. Ashton Drake Jewelry Distribution, or Distinction, Jewelry of Distinction, sorry. This is a Certificate of Authenticity. Wow. This handcrafted sterling silver features five handset diamonds. Okay. Let's take a closer look at this piece here. So it's a heart shape with a lighthouse and the ocean, which is pretty awesome. And then this is like a big wave coming up and over and you can see where the diamonds are set, one being at the top of the lighthouse. That's pretty cute. It's engraved on the back. Faith is my beacon of hope. It has uh, 925 and TK for Thomas Kincaid on it. Well, what are you worth? Let's find out. Okay. Oh, it left a lot of fuzz on there. Let's get my tape out for a sec. I can always see the fuzzies so much more while I'm editing. And I always try and tell myself to remember to... Do something about that <laughs> while I'm filming. Next up we have a ring here, a men's ring. And that's got a piece of tiger's eye, big round capuchon, and it's a brutalist style. Is this thing actually gold? I'm going to use the magnet before we check any further for the marks. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, no. But what does it say? I wonder if it's been tested. Oh, here we go. Oh, and you with a arrow through it. We saw something in the last episode that I thought had a U with an arrow through it as well. Maybe I figured it out. If I did, maybe I'll write it up here again. <laughs> in the meantime, it does say 18 karat HGE, which is uh, 18 karat heavy gold electroplated. So maybe it's a little thicker of an electroplating than generally used but I think that's a pretty cool looking men's ring anyway but I like Brutalist I like it here's a stick pin and it's got this sort of gold tone cage and does it it screws off oh no it pulls off ah hmm no it definitely screws off there we go Let's get a closer look at the cage here. Some vertigray. But it's really pretty. Lots of cool detail there. Not magnetic. Sometimes I see the marks on the actual pin. Which is so tiny and difficult, but I don't see anything this time. So yeah, I would not have to say that it is anything other than old potentially antique it says it's an interesting one would that be like a sweater pin would you would they have used it as a sweater pin instead of having a chain in between it's this bar instead perhaps see what we can learn about that maybe all right next up is a pair of clip-on earrings and these are pretty cute a textured heart with a, a polished surround and they are clip-on and I don't see any kind of marks. Nope. But they're cute enough. I'm not into heart jewelry, but those are cute enough. 
Here's a brooch, a butterfly brooch, a filigree butterfly brooch with an enamel body and these enamel spots and turquoise. Really nice blue color there. It's a decent size too. Here's the back. And what do you say? 925. And a rollover clasp. Not bad. You can stay right there, butterfly. Or can you? Should you go up here instead? Sure. Why not? Just go somewhere. Oh, this is cute. Another brooch. And it's a rooster. A rooster with marcasite and a little emerald eye and some cool enamel. It looks like it's rubbed off in some spots, but I think that's kind of cool actually, even with the, the damage. No marks on there. Well, that's, that's pretty cute. Where do you go? There? Yeah. That looks good. And another brooch pin here, a smaller gold tone angel with a little stone. Let's turn on the diamond tester to see if she's holding a actual diamond in that star. And the back side looks like this, and there is a mark, FM 1979. Hmm. F Franklin Mint, maybe? Could be, maybe. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, it's really tiny. Hard to get it on there without touching the prong. So it keeps reading as moissanite. It very well might be moissanite, but it's one or the other. Either moissanite or diamond. And, oh, another bar pin. Look at this one. This is cool. These little pieces are all dangly with garnet, pear-shaped garnet and marcasite and then the little roundy garnets along the top. I think that's cool. That's more uh, Art Deco than Victorian though, isn't it? Yeah, and we can see here by the rollover clasp that it's, you know, 1955 or later. Or, yeah, later, not earlier. <laughs> and it is Mark 925 with a K-I. Hopefully we can find something out about the K-I. But I think that's beautiful. And I think bar pins are charming. I have no use for them in my practical life, but I think they're charming. And I like, I like finding them. Okay. <laughs> Here's a little pendant. This is an anchor, a gold tone anchor. And it is like a punched, a punched thing and it is in terrible condition but it's not actually a pendant is it look at there's these two little folding over pieces so some it slid onto something probably some sort of a uniform maybe um what's it called when the kids when the kids go into uh cadets maybe no that's that's air i don't know here is another butterfly with filigree it's little antennas Oh, they're sure bendy. Surprised they even are attached still. <laughs> and there's the back of it. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. This is, well, it's a brooch, I guess. Ta-da! The back of it is wacky. Look at this. Like that double pin pulls out all the way, so I'm not sure where... This would have been attached. Let's see, what do we have? A crown at the top. There's a beaver, the Midland Regiment of what? I'm reading it, but not out loud because I don't want to. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see what we can see. Hmm. What did we find out? I don't know. Move this angel baby and this anchor. The anchor feels like it would fold in half if I sneezed at it, honestly. Oh, here's a nice indigenous pendant. Look at that. That's really cool. It's long and it's got a cool carving. 
Um, I'm not sure what animal it would be if it's an orca. And it is also signed DL. Well, that, that could go into our display here, I believe. Here's a little silver charm of a totem with an eagle on top. It says totem pole. It also says sterling. And here's a cross pen. Oh, I thought it was a cross, but it's another totem. That looks like a bat on top. The ears and everything, hey? I don't remember ever seeing a bat in any of this before. It looks like it's got a sterling mark as well. And another little pendant. This might have been part of an earring with an indigenous design on it. Do they go together? I think they might actually match because look at... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll see if we find another, another piece that matches the... Um, this little guy here. Here's a ring. It's an intuition test this time. What color stone is in this ring? No, oh, this is mean of me, you guys. There's no stone. Psych. It's just this empty shell of a ring in super duper rough condition. Here's another brooch, a flower brooch with a faux pearl in the center. No signature on that one. Oh, look, another one. We'll stack them up. Okay, here is another pin. Um, hmm. It looks like this. It's got two horses and a horseshoe. And it's very thin and just like pressed, punched out. And it looks like it used to go on something. This looks like it was added after the fact. I'm not sure. Here, we'll let the horsies dangle. I'll even face them toward us. There we go. Until I find something better and then I'll put that there instead. Let me get this dumped out here so we can get to the goods here's another butterfly another filigree butterfly what the what this one has a, a c clasp though so is that going to be victorian i don't think so this hinge does not seem victorian but the long pin you know what i think it's antique anyway i think it's antique regardless Hmm, where can the other butterfly go? Here? Uh, spending too much time thinking about that. Ooh, this is pretty. Look! Look, it's so pretty. Look at all those colors in the abalone. And here's the kicker. None of it's shattered and missing. That's really cool. It's a pendant and a brooch. And it is marked uh, Mexico, so we'd want to test it for authentic silver. The coloration in the back is kind of weirding me out. I don't know. But I don't care because it's so pretty. Really pretty. Put you right there. Another brooch here with marcasite. It's a feather design. I think it's feather as opposed to leaf. And lots of little marcasites everywhere. No marks on the back. Rollover clasp. And this is kind of weird. It's a pin with two doves holding a heart. But it's got like a pin back on each of the doves. I'm not entirely sure why they would have done that. What does it say on the back? Baloo. Registered. I guess just because you can't put a back on the center of it, so this was the only other option. Odd. I guess the nice thing is that it would stop it from spinning on your, on your clothes. Here is a sparkly sparkle-tastic 
sparkly sparkle tastic brooch oh it's so nice and all of the stones are there there's one million clear nevet cut rhinestones there and then a little cluster of them prong set in the center it's a little bit boobish hey eh? a little mammary situation but i think it's beautiful oh snap look at that it's a sherman okay so it's big like look at this it's covering up all my fingers that's a huge sherman brooch <gasps> what's it worth did we find out i hope so we must have we simply must have you know what horsies you're out of here sure me gets the podium here's another insane brooch also gigantic this woven gold tone sort of that russian gold and uh sort of a ropey a ropey look and that one says Monet. Oh, Monet. Always happy to find Monet. And here's the kicker, folks. Here's the kicker. Boom. Matching earrings and brooch. Yay. Oh, that's exciting to me. And here's another exciting thing is that they have their original Monet backs. They're also stamped Monet and they're for pierced ears. I find so many clip-ons that I'm really excited that that is uh, pierced. Oh, check it out, guys. I got me the Sherman matching earrings. Oh, good. And these are a clip-on and they are signed Sherman. So we have our set, a Monet set and a Sherman set. Oh, I see a little bit of damage here. Look. That, that little tippy tip. Shoot. Hmm. Well, I guess I could look for a replacement um, stone. And I will. I will look because it's worth it. But uh, I also will consider selling it as is. Another butterfly or perhaps a moth. This is in a darker, well, probably just tarnished. It says 925 there. Um, with little marcasites. And we're not missing any either. All right, get in there with your butterfly buddies. Here's another brooch. A bird. A bird with a blinged out head. And then this also, it's also got another stone down here. It's kind of weird, but okay. And it looks like it's, you know, designed to look like it's made with chain or rope. And no mark. That's a cool little bird. Here is another brooch. And this brooch is also antique, Victorian. And it is Wedgwood. But it's not marked Wedgwood. It has like a 10 indented in it. I don't know if Wedgwood stuff was ever unmarked. But it's clearly in the style of Wedgwood. And if it's so old, Victorian, maybe that was maybe they weren't marking him at that point. I don't know. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. Very recognizable style that they have. Okay, next I've got a couple of pendants here. This one is like this, and what the heck? Oh, it's Labradorite. It just looked black, and then boom, there's the Labrador Essence. It's got these little beading and a rope design around it, marked 925. And here's another little pendant, more Labradorite. Ah, that one's very small. Look at it on my fingertip. Also marked 925. Cute. All right, another bag. Here is, oh, they're broken. Here's one that's not broken. A pair of clip-on earrings. I think that's really pretty. It's got like this gold tone bead and faux pearl and a big faux pearl with these bead caps on. 
that are so cool with the leaves. And then the other one has just come apart here. See the glue? It just needs to get stuck back on and glued. That's really easily done. So I will, I will do that. But I think those are super pretty. And another pair. Oh, same thing. Also looks like it could be repaired with glue. But look at these. How cool are these? They're like randomly shaped plastic with glitter inside. I think that's pretty cool. But that's, I like that color. <laughs> and here's the other one. And the piece that needs to be glued back on. Where does it go? Oh, it goes this way? Huh? What the what? Oh, oh. I don't know. We won't figure it out right now, but either way, I like those. I like sparkles and I like greens. Here's another little bag. And this will be our last piece for this episode. Oh, two pieces. Sorry. My bad. First of all is a pendant that looks like this. A little gold tone and clear CZ, perhaps. It's very cute. Is it magnetic? Yes, it is. That's okay. It's adorable. And then, oh... I like the style of this. Look at that. Austria. That's really cool. Look at all of that. Like topaz and citrine rhinestones. I really like the random cluster of it. Very modern. It's got a very modern design. The long skinny of it. Ooh, I think that's really cool actually. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Good stuff. Really good. If you haven't already, you guys, click subscribe. I'm uploading a new video every Sunday, so I would really love if you would be there again and uh, keep digging through all these goodies with me. Um, down in the description box below, you're going to find links to eBay for our eBay stores and emails. Reach out if you have any questions and I'll talk to you again soon.